This exercise is moving from a reverse guard position into a diagonal press. So you're back actually rotating your spine just a little bit, a little bit of yaw, and pressing your shoulders down, packing your shoulders, and then returning to reverse guard position. Uh, this incorporates stability on the bottom half of the body, engaging your glutes, uh, keeping your spine erect, and then a slight bit of rotation, which really recruits your uh, ex internal and external obliques. So great for getting you into positions like your twisted chair, be able to, being able to have that uh, ability to differentiate between the lower half and the upper half of the body. All right, so begin with your uh, mason reverse guard position. You can start with your feet hip distance apart, and then you'll come down into your chair squat and press your uh, mace. We'll do 10 repetitions, pressing your mace to the side, packing your shoulders, return to reverse guard, squeeze at the top. Again, pressing out, building that stability, that strength, squeeze. We'll do the first five repetitions with flat feet on the ground, squeezing the knees together. If you're a, an athlete that's dominant uh, in the outer glutes, so you do a lot of squats and swings, this is really gonna challenge you to build your internal rotation strength by squeezing your knees together strongly as you come down. If you wanna build your ankle stability and strength, try incorporating a heel lift, timing it perfectly so that as you approach the bottom, you're in that full squat, your shoulders are packed, your spine's erect, squeeze at the top. So everything should be done slowly at first, building stability and control, and then over time, you can start to add velocity and create more power and harness that power Grip confirmation, elbows straight, spine erect. Last two. Heels remain lifted. Last one. I really enjoy training with that small base of the support, especially on the Naboso mat. Switch sides. Because I'm building more proprioceptive awareness in my ankles and allowing my inner core to take over versus always being flat and always uh, having my feet on the ground. All right, so other side. Press your mace out, back your shoulders, squeeze at the top. From the side view, it looks like this. If I'm only able to get to here, that's fine. Build the mobility to be able to access the full squat first. <clears throat> Level two. Chair squat with a diagonal flag press over over grip. Press it out as you descend, lift those heels. Squeeze your knees together, body upright and erect. Three more. Inhaling, ujjayi breath. Pack the shoulders, squeeze at the top. Last two. Last one. Training the body and the mind to be calm, even though the exercise is challenging. Recover, inhale through nose, exhale through mouth, a little gentle bounce allowing your muscles to release the residual tonus from the exercise, especially in the shoulders and the traps. <clears throat>